What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to teach you how to stop four verticals. Four verticals is a very popular D offensive play call uh, that a lot of gamers are using this season to be able to uh, beat both man and zone defense. So uh, for those of you guys that are new to our YouTube channel, my name is Cody and I want to personally take a moment to thank you for taking the time to check out this video and I hope you find what you're looking for. Here at our YouTube channel, our goal here is to make you better at Madden NFL 16 by teaching you real NFL concepts that work and hopefully it's going to develop you as a gamer and create a leader within you to go out and make your own scheme in Madden NFL 16. Okay guys, so four verticals uh, is what we're talking about today and it's we're going to use just a standard tray open or trip size so it it's all the basic it, they're basically the same kind of concept but in four verticals what you often have is you have a vertical stretch uh, is basically what this is and we're just going to teach you how to do this from uh, the any, any, you really don't need any specific playbook, but we are in the New England Patriots defensive playbook, and we're going to be utilizing the dime one four six formation. Now, in the dime one four six formation, what you want to do is you want to have good pass rushers here uh, in these linebackers, and so we like to find uh, our best pass rushers that we can find here. So we've got Alex Okafor. Um, we also have Lamar Woodley that we can put down there, uh, and then we want to put our best man covering guys in these middle linebacker spots. On the on these slot corners again, you want to find good corners that can cover in man coverage, and that's where they're going to go. On the outside, you just want to have your best two corners that can cover in man and zone. At your safeties, you want to put guys who have really really high zone coverage, so we're going to put those guys there. And the play that we're going to be utilizing to stop for verticals is this play cover two man from the big dime one four six. Okay, now to stop cover two man specific or uh, four verticals specifically, what we want to do here is there's a couple of things that's going to happen. Number one, when your quarterback is forced to roll out, he is you need to have someone on a quarterback spy that's going to be able to stop him from the rollout. So what I like to do is I like to shift my defensive line to the right in this formation, and I like to crash my line to the middle or to the uh, to the left. From there, I like to pinch my linebackers because it's going to create an interesting alignment for the defense. And then at this point, what I like to do is then I like to start zoning guys off. Now, for this pressure setup that we're going to be running here, we don't really have pressure. There's no big-time pressure here, but the basic idea here is going to apply. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy here, Dwight Freeney. We're going to place him in a... Uh, in a in a deep blue zone, and he's going to be our user defender. Then we're going to take this guy Dion Buchanan, and we're going to put him into a hook zone. And then this guy Lamar Woodley, we're going to put him on a quarterback spy. So that's our basic setup here to stop four verticals, and we're going to user Dwight Freeney. Now what a lot of guys are going to do is they're going to send a drag route from Amari Cooper. Okay? Drag route. This is popular for a lot of guys and the reason that they like to do this is because it's going to allow them a basically a check down read if nothing else opens up. So we're going to snap the ball and go. You're going to see that this route to the running back is going to get covered because you have a good man covering linebacker there. Okay, so you can see that route's not open. And we'll just go through the setup here. We'll set it up real quick for you. And if you you know if you want to redo the setup, you can just rewind the video. Uh, I like to pass commit personally against this because that way these guys are gonna these guys are gonna funnel really nicely into everything. And remember, your user control player is Dwight Freeney, and basically you're gonna take away this vertical seams. That's where you're gonna play. So what's gonna happen here is, and we're just gonna imagine for a moment. Well, we'll just show you. So your job here, you're gonna see verticals, and you're just gonna get back into this deep third so that he can't throw this route, right? So you're on this, you're on this, you're on this, and there's an interception. You see? Okay, so those are the first two main main reads that you need to main things that you need to do to stop this. So those are the two core routes that beat man that you're gonna be able to now shut down. So there it is. Now, the only thing left is to account for is the drag route. So 
what they're going to do is they're going to roll out. They're going to playmaker this drag upfield, and then they're going to throw it inside. Well, that's why that yellow zone is there. And as you see, that yellow zone is going to stop it. Uh, just to show you that this does work, uh, one other thing we like to do is we like to, uh, in our coverage adjustments, if we have time, we'll put the coverage inside. And always man line and press, sorry. Always man line and press out of this as well. That's important. Sorry, I didn't put that. Um, the setup will be the description for this defense uh, so that you guys can check that out. Now, I like to bring this guy down a little bit. I kind of like to bring both safeties down into the box here to kind of at least kind of at least negate them from wanting to run the inside zone. So the popular thing they're going to do is they're going to check down to the inside zone. And what I like to do is I like to use her this, um, like I said, I like to use her this guy, Dwight Franey here. So if they, if they go inside zone, you see that it's it's an option, right? It's an option that they can do because you're in a dime formation. But one little pro tip that you can use, something that I've been using. So set your play up exactly the way we set it. Make sure you man line and press. And then zone your guys out. Now, um, if you have a good corner, like a Patrick Peterson or someone on this left side, you can use or control this safety. Now, when you bring this guy down, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stand right here, right over this guard. And you're going to kind of hover behind him and kind of swoop inside to kind of break this up. Now, you're going to force it to the outside, and then your safety is going to make the play. This is just a basic idea of how to stop the inside zone, but our real focus here is, is to stop the four verticals, okay? So that's what I'm going to show you. So I want to just show you the other two routes are covered on this play. We've shown you how the main two or three are covered. So now we're just going to show you how the remainder of them are, are covered as well. Um, so if they go to the uh, route to Roberts, what you're going to see here is we're going to have that covered. See there, the cloud of coverage. And then if they go to Smith, so if they go to Smith here, uh, what you're going to see is this is also going to be covered because you're going to have two safeties. And so if they try to high pass lead, that's not going to be open. You have that double coverage. So everything's covered on this type of play. So the only real thing they're going to do from this is go inside zone. And tomorrow we're going to show you how to use, how to stop the inside zone from the dime 146 formation. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching today's video. I hope that it shed a little bit of light on how to stop the four verticals passing play. Uh, I know that a lot of people are having success with four verticals. And uh, hopefully this will teach you a little bit on how to stop it. If you have any further questions about stopping four verticals in general, please leave those in the comments of this video. Also, guys, if you enjoyed today's video and you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. That way you can get updated future videos where we teach you other things related to getting better in Madden NFL 16. Also, guys, if you're looking to take your defense to the next level, be sure to check out my ebook in the description below, and you'll be able to improve your defense for a small price of only $10. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video today, and I hope that it helps you uh, become better at Madden NFL 16. Thank you, guys.